everyone, welcome to another Game Maker Studio 2 tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cooldown uh, in GML. Um, and so this is going to be a pretty short tutorial since, I mean, cooldowns aren't very complicated coding-wise. Um, well, cooldowns can be used for literally anything. Um, so for my example, I'm going to be showing you a player um, shooting a bullet. And if I try out my character right now, it's like, oh look, he can move. Um, and if I click the mouse, he does fire a bullet. But as you can see, he just fires them continuously, which looks kind of cool, but it's not really practical for an actual game. Um, so we can fix that by adding a cooldown. Uh, so currently inside my code I have, if the left mouse is pressed, then create a bullet. And so what we want is to make it so that if the button is pressed and the cooldown has been reached, then create a bullet. Um, and then, yeah, so first off we'll actually create the cooldown. So go into your create um, event for your player or whatever you want the cooldown to be uh, active for. So this is when the player spawns, the cooldown is set. Um, and we'll set the cooldown to zero. Then that's that's literally all we need to do for the create event. So I'm going to go to the step event. Um, and you make it so that if the left trigger is press, pressed, and we, we also want the cooldown to um, equal a certain amount, uh, which we literally can do by put it, writing and uh, the cooldown is less uh, less than one. So it's saying if these two uh, things are met, then you create a bullet. All right, cool. But um, if you look right now, the cooldown is always less than one, so that actually won't do anything. So what we need to do is after each bullet is fired, we reset the cooldown to whatever number we want. Um, figure out how long it takes for it to fire again. So I'll just set it to 5 for now. Uh, so if now if we ran the game right now, what would happen is the first time it would fire, and the cooldown would be set to 5, and then it wouldn't be able to fire again because it wouldn't meet the condition. So what we need to do one more time um, is write uh, the cool... So every frame, the game is active because this is a step event. I'm going to make it so the cooldown is equal to uh, the current cooldown variable minus 1. So it's so that, uh, it's always like a ticking time bomb where it's always going down until it's at one point less than zero or less than one. Um, and you fire a bullet and it resets back to five. So I'll show you it in action. Um, like this is literally all the code you need for this to work. And you could adjust it how you want. Whether right? you want uh, to fire faster, cooldown equals three, or slower, cooldown equals like fifteen or something. Um, so once again, we have our little player. Um, and I'm, I'm holding down the mouse, and here you see it fires a lot slower. So, boom. Cooldown complete. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. I know it was a little short, uh, but it's super important. Um, so if you want to just, real quick, look, uh, pause the video, take a look at the coding, copied into whatever you have, feel free. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.